From what we're seeing, there's only one person in the plane. And uh, I think it's just a body recovery. That is new audio tonight from the San Antonio Fire Department as crews tried to get to this wreckage of a deadly plane crash on the city's south side. It's the big story we've been following all afternoon. The pilot died. No one else was on board. The Federal Aviation Authority is wrapping up an initial investigation. The night team's Josh Skernick has been covering the story since it first broke this afternoon. He reports there are still a number of unanswered questions. There is actually a plane down. It was witnessed that it went down. 600 yards from its destination, the Cirrus SR-22 single-engine four-seater flew straight into the brush. He's to be halfway buried in that wreckage. The pilot, dead on impact. The wreckage is just, is bad. Uh, it it came down. It looked like it. It looked like you could see the tree line where the where he went through it. one wing. You could just see the wing cut through the trees. The right wing down as it hit. The aircraft flipped. The fuselage hit the ground and twisted sideways, and the tail and everything piled in on top of that. The battalion chief says he has no idea what happened. There are no known mayday calls to the tower. The only person inside, a pilot out of California, was on a 15-mile trip from San Antonio International to Stinson Municipal Airport, crashing just south of the runway around 3.45 p.m. The plane actually landed a half a mile from the San Antonio River. This is the mission trail portion, and with all the pedestrian going by. Firefighters say they're lucky no one else got hit. The plane actually landed over here in the brush. It was so deep, emergency personnel had to use ATVs to access the site. With little spilt fuel and no fire, emergency personnel will preserve the evidence. Well, we haven't heard of anything. It was, I don't, we don't understand what happened, but they'll figure that out. We've shown you the aftermath of that plane crash. Now, here's a picture of what the aircraft would have looked like. Again, it's a Cirrus SR-22. The NTSB is expected to be at the site tomorrow morning to continue the investigation. Reporting live at Stinson Municipal Airport, Josh Gurnick, KSAT 12 News.